What's up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Sorry, I haven't posted in a while. I hit a little slump. Been watching a lot of Criminal Minds, doing a lot of practicing while we're still in lockdown here in LA, basically, shelter in place. But today we're back with a new video. I redecorated my studio slash office. So today is everyone's favorite, a studio tour. So let's go. So we'll start off with my bookshelf. As you can see, it's filled with my old Berkeley stuff, whether it's Harmony textbooks, counterpoint, old guitar stuff, folders right here, ear training, let's take a look at this. This is ear training three. Um, looks like I got an A minus on that exam during Berkeley. And this is like soul fetch exercise, stuff like that you would have to sing every class for homework and for tests and quizzes. Sorry, science going on outside. We live in downtown LA. Um, also down here is my big aux packaging because I use the aux a lot for recording. Um, so this is mainly the hub of all documents, guitar related. Also I have magazines up here. So here is if anything I need from the past, it's right here. Let's move on down here where you have some amps and a pedal board. I'm sort of building. So right here we have my amps. First up in the front like it should be the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. Now I've had this amp for about 10 years probably. And I think I fit this amp every single day of those 10 years. It's a great clean platform and takes pedals really really well. Just an overall great amp. Right behind it is the Fender Bass Breaker 15. I got this amp right when I moved to LA about two years ago. And I got it because I had any of my gear for about six weeks. So this was a great cheap amp, not too amp that I got from Guitar Center. And to the right of it is the Fender Princeton Reverb. This amp is great at low volume. It's pretty fizzy in the high end, but it sounds really good when you get that volume to about six or seven, run it through the aux into my computer into monitors. It sounds really, really good. So these are my three Fender amps. Like I said before, Howard Deluxe is the number one. Now, right in front of the Howard Deluxe is a pedal board that is sort of in progress. I've been really into Robin Ford over the quarantine and I really want to build a Robin Ford inspired pedal board. The signal chain would pretty much be tuner, Vertex Ultraphonics, Vertex Boost. I would like to have the Pog like he does and maybe a way huge Blue Hippo for chorus effect. Delay would be TC Flashback in the 2290 setting and then a TC Hall of Fame reverb and that would run through my Overdrive Special or basically any amp. So that's a pedal board sort of in progress like I said. So maybe once quarantine is done the pedal board will be built but if you want to see it built, let me know in the comments below and we can make a sort of a series out of it. So that pedal board is TBA to be announced now. So let's move on to the guitar rack. Next up is my ever trusty, one of my best purchases, my Gator case guitar rack that I got here in LA at Tour Supply. Hold six guitars and in order from left to right, I have my Martin OMJM my ES-335, my 59 Reissue Les Paul, the PRS Super Eagle, PRS Silver Sky, and my Fender Mexican Strat. And this case, like I said, it was an amazing purchase and even better investment. This thing is sturdy as a beast and has never failed me. Every guitar is locked in by a nice little, how would you call it, like a little band to put it back in there and secure your guitar and it can't fall off. So that is my guitar case slash guitar rack. Let's move over here to this amp. So next up is my baby, my overdrive special from Wellagen that is insane, incredible amp. It's 100 watts that can be powered down to 50 watts and I use it at 100 watts with the master volume at around two, two and a half maybe and it sounds incredible. Has no reverb and I don't miss it because it has so much harmonics. It's just tone of the gods. Great clean channel, great overdrive channel. 
all custom voice to my specs and just a dream amp to have. Even better, it takes pedals perfectly well, so all in all, just a great amp. On top of it is my aux from Universal Audio, so the idea when using this setup and recording is no mic on the amp, but the amp will be attenuated on the lowest setting on the aux. Aux would also take it to my laptop and to Logic and the UA software I'd be using a 121 and a 57 for close micing and as well as a room mic so I can blend the aux mics and recording with the camera audio to hopefully achieve a great room sound that I'm in right now. So that is my main rig that from now on you'll probably hear on the channel. If it's not this, then it's most likely the Howard Deluxe. And also like I mentioned before with the quote unquote new pedal board build that's very Robin Ford inspired. Robin Ford uses the ODS. I have an ODS, so Robin Ford is like an idol of mine. So have some fun, make a Robin Ford inspired rig and use it with this and everyone's happy. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at my other pedal board. So right here we have my main pedal board that I use for Grateful Dead time music that my buddy Mason Vertex built me about two years ago as well. Nothing has failed, it's still going strong, all solar cables, no modular power supply, Voodoo LED Pedal Power 2 Plus, powering everything, and it's a beast. And over here, you move the camera a little bit, we have my pedal rack, uh, Vertex pedals, fuzz faces, toolkit, extra cables on the bottom, strap locks, you name it. Tone brush right here. Patch cables, Mogami. If I need it, it's right here. And everything is set so it's grab and go. Everything's already plugged in. So there's no thinking about it. Just plug in the amp, turn it on, and you're good to go. So last up and probably most important is how I'm recording all this. And everything is right here my MacBook Pro, Logic. I used Luna for a bit, but I'm more comfortable in Logic. Interface is my UA Apollo Twin that I've had for about five years now, still going strong, into my Yamaha monitors, and they're just amazing. This rig is simple. I know like the back of my hand, and I think that's the best part about it. Extra cables here. My preferred pick is usually Dunlop, Tortex Flow in the one millimeter. Also over the lockdown, I did end up getting a blue chip TD40, which is a blue chip that's equivalent to one millimeter, which I like the best for picks. I got extra Jazz 3s here from an overrated special from Joe Bonamassa. And like I said, the idea of the studio is that everything is already plugged in. All I gotta do is turn my computer on, open a logic session, plug my guitar into the amp, turn the amp on, and everything is set to record. Set and forget it. No thinking, just press play and record. All right guys, that is today's video, my studio tour. I am very grateful to have my own studio, my apartment to do all my recording, lessons, everything. It's just a dream, no. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Sorry for the lack of video. I'll do my best to get back on the weekly uploading schedule that I was before. Um, if you want to take lessons with me, I do do Skype lessons, so you can send me an email or drop me a DM on Instagram at gbergman8. Um, if you want to see any video in particular, leave a comment down below in this video and I'll try to get to it. So thank you all for watching. Press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.